Good evening from Sri Lanka. I'm Sachin Udike. Warmly welcome to the pre-conference webinar of the World, the Seventh World Conference on Women's Studies 2021, which is organized by the Asian African Association for Women, Gender and Sexuality. The purpose of having this webinar to provide you idea of how will be the Women's Studies Conference, which will be held on 20th to 22nd May. This is a three days conference. And also today we are lined up and featuring the publication workshop. In regards of this association, AAAWGS, we have our committee members. Let me introduce our committee members. Please welcome Ms. Mahesha Deshani. She plays the role as the International Relations Officer. Regarding this Women's Studies Conference, if you would like to be a speaker or your university would like to partner with this conference, you can contact Ms. Mahesha. And I play as a role as International Marketing Executive in this association as well as this conference. So regarding the submission of abstract and become a volunteer to the association, you can contact me. And once the abstract in the, in the conference, once the abstract is submitted and we accept it, from that moment to the post conference, after the conference, all the process will be handled by Mr. Viraj Maya Dunna. He plays the conference secretariat. So, if you're regarding those questions, Mr. Viraj will be contact you, and we'll find out who will be responsible for the publication. That's Ms. Tarindi Vijay Singh huh? regarding the publications, regarding the publishing your full paper. So once the conference is concluded, she'll be contacting you regarding a submission in the full paper. And the beautiful and this informative website is developed by the Mr. Chamad Banker. He is the web developer officer of the association as well as this Women's Studies Conference. It is my honor to welcome Today, we, it's my honor to welcome Professor Diana J. Fox and Professor Kamala Lienage, also Mr. Sankar P. Gamage, to this webinar. Please welcome these this amazing people. So starting with this webinar, I would like to introduce and welcome Professor and Chairperson, Department of Anthropology, Journal of International Women's Studies, Bridgewater State University, USA. Please welcome Professor Diana J. Fox. Professor Diana, over to you. Hello, everybody. It's such a pleasure to be here and to welcome you to this pre-conference event. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I wanted to share um, a few insights uh, with you from past conferences that hopefully will be helpful as you uh, prepare your presentations. Um, and then I'm going to talk just a little bit about the conference themes um, and briefly also my role. Um, actually, let's start with that. Uh, this year I'm working with Kamala uh, as co-chair. Hello, Kamala. Uh, since uh, there will be some presentations in Sri Lanka, although the majority of it, of course, will be uh, online. Uh, and the conference chairs uh, develop the themes in conjunction with the participants of the conference. So when we get to that, um, the theme for this year uh, came out of discussions from last year's webinar. And so it's a really collaborative effort, which I think is, is wonderful. Um, I, I want to encourage you as you're, as you're working on your paper presentations to think about connecting them to the conference theme some aspect of the conference theme, and also to create slides that are not overly packed with information that we can all digest and listen and read at the same time. Um, it, charts are useful if, if they're relevant, images are useful, and bulleted points, um, but not slides that are absolutely you know, packed from top to bottom. Um, with full sentences that makes it difficult to listen and read at the same time. Um, the other thing that I wanted to encourage and one of the things that I've loved so much about this conference and, and um, it, 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 it is the, its capacity to build networks. And it's so wonderful to see people here, to see names 
of people that uh, I, I know personally through uh, working on publications or uh, having met at the conference before um, in person and even online. Even though we're online, we can build community and we can share with one another. We can exchange our social media, our emails, and uh, build uh, some kind of relationships that are fruitful in, in achieving our goals towards women's equality, gender equality. Um, we are at a time in our on our planet when we need to connect with one another. Um, the powers against us are are enormous, and we have to work together and find ways to to um, overcome some of the ongoing hurdles. So connecting with one another uh, it, through this online venue uh, is one way to do that. I think you can go to this uh, another slide if, if we're going to get to the are we not doing the slide presentations yet. Is there a slide with the conference theme that you could share. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So, um, as I mentioned, this theme emerged emerged from last year's conference after the conference um, in this I invited people to uh, to to send me their ideas about what they thought we should focus on and a, a few uh, presenters shared some ideas and the one that stood out the most was this idea of transnational feminisms connecting across the boundaries of our nations which we've done so much in this pandemic year. I don't know about all of you, but I suspect similarly to me, uh, you've had many conferences and, and webinars. Uh, I know some of you have uh, that I know here in Naoki from, from Japan and Bhushan from India. We've been connecting across, um, acro across the world and so we are concerned about the ways in which we as um, as scholars, as activists, as policymakers um, form our ideas, understand the challenges and problems within our specific contexts and how we collaborate beyond our contexts across our differences. Sometimes, as the theme identifies, this leads to contestations, to challenges, to disagreements. Um, sometimes those are unfortunately not able to be resolved immediately. Um, there are long term problems, such as the situation in Kashmir um, or the situation in Palestine and Israel, long term problems um, that are the result of historical challenges. Uh, but given the opportunity to connect with one another, um, our goal is to live on a planet that is survivable. Um, a livable planet is, it refers to not only the environment, to the challenges of climate crisis, which are affecting um, women, children, ethnic minorities, indigenous peoples, impoverished men and women, transgender peoples, um, the most vulnerable. Uh, and, and so all work that is work towards equity and equality is work that creates a livable planet. All equity work is climate crisis aversion. Um, so I want to encourage you to think as you pr create your presentations on what it means to have a livable planet in your part of the world and also more broadly as we connect with one another. Um, feel free to email me. I'm putting my email in the chat um, to share some of your ideas uh, about how you can harness the conference theme within relationship to your specific topic that you have shared on your abstract. Um, we really look forward to, to hearing your presentations, to building, um, a, a, to, to using this conference to build 
a deeper transnational feminist world. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Diana. Ladies and gentlemen, that you heard from our conference co-chair, Prof. Diana. Thank you for providing a very good idea of the, about the conference and about the theme. We're moving to the next part of the webinar. Let me welcome Prof. Kamala Lienage. She's Emeritus Professor, University of Peradeniya, Sri Lanka. Prof. Kamala, over to you. Professor Kamala, uh, could you please unmute yourself? We are not here. Okay, always yes. I forget. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. And uh, thank you very much uh, for actually inviting me to uh, work as a co-chair. And at the same time, hello to everybody and good evening according to the Sri Lankan time. And first of all, uh, uh, I have to say uh, sorry and excuse uh, uh, to uh, Diana Fox, uh, Diana Fox, uh, Professor Diana Fox, mainly because I was quite silent for last uh, few months uh, due to a kind of uh, uh, small surgery and uh, a bit of unexpected uh, uh, illness. So therefore I couldn't uh, really actively um, uh, collaborate with you, assist you uh, in various ways though I plan. And, but now I'm getting better and I think I will be able to uh, help you after this uh, and uh, I expect to do so. And uh, actually as Diana mentioned, I'm not going to uh, speak again about the theme and uh, uh, the kind of uh, you know areas that uh, the conference uh, is going to cover and all these things are uh, given in the web pages. Uh, but when it comes to especially South Asia and Sri Lanka and the kind of Asian, the whole region, uh, I just, of course, like to say something about feminism. Because feminism is, uh, frankly, in Sri Lanka, and I have uh, worked with, uh, including uh, Japan, I have worked with, uh, I think, almost all uh, Asian and South Asian countries. So they are uh, I have, I think, noticed hmm, feminism is a different word to different categories. Even in, in Sri Lanka, inside the country, it is completely different from one category to the other category. And even in the university that where I come from, uh, though retired that I work there still, and uh, feminism is not known to uh, everybody and it is not clear enough uh, to everybody. Uh, so when it comes to this transnational feminism, the theme uh, that uh, especially these uh, Asian presenters should have kind of, uh, or may have uh, kind of, you know, different uh, definitions, interpretations, understandings, and even practices. So I think um, uh, as uh, Diana mentioned, there are, uh, various uh, you know issues when it comes to this part of the world and even uh, when it comes to the other part of the world also uh, women studies or gender studies uh, from inclusive governance to inclusive democracy to um, environment and poverty uh, decision making uh, uh, other kind of you know ethnic issues and transgender issues and all these things are kind of you know serious issues in our part of the world. But unfortunately, very many do not uh, consider them as sometimes gender issues, women's issues, or other kind of vulnerable group issues. And today, actually, I read a small article sent by a friend of mine from Colombo. Uh, this is related to transgender, uh, about five or six people. And they were in a, a small room. And uh, however, uh, somebody has uh, informed the police and police have gone there and they have been arrested. And they have gone to the courts and they did not know why they were arrested. And uh, I think uh, I have to appreciate, hmm? however, the judge has mentioned, the judge has given the verdict saying uh, the, the, the police uh, policemen or several police officers, hmm? 
who have uh, arrested these people have said uh, there were some uh, men in disguise of women. So therefore we arrested them. I mean, it, it's a kind of a really uh, amazing, awkward thing. So the judge, uh, for the first time in my, uh, you know, kind of, you know, life I heard, the judge has said, I mean, this is not a kind of issue. If they have misbehaved or if they have done something uh, very bad to the society or if they have done some kind of, you know, uh, um, violations of, uh, if they have violated the uh, rights of others or there should be some kind of cases, but unfortunately nothing is there. So therefore the judge has asked the police huh, why that you, uh, you all arrested them. But I mean, now you can understand probably, I mean, this is a serious gender issue. And uh, when it comes to women's environment now, one of our forests have been destroyed by some people. So one young lady came recently uh, for, uh, I mean, to attend a, 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 a TV program, but there she, I mean, probably unexpectedly, she was asked a question and she said that uh, wherever she is from uh, that area and uh, that area has been devastated by somebody because there were some uh, very valuable trees and uh, animals and uh, other kind of you know insects and so on and so on. So now it has become a kind of, uh, I feel, a kind of a gender issue also because being a young, uh, you know, I think she's a school girl, young lady, now she has been targeted by media and various other kind of people who have authorities. So these things are unfortunately, that's why I said the people define gender, women's studies, feminism in different, different ways. And even in this small country, it is, it is defined, it is interpreted in uh, numerous ways. So therefore, I think even to, uh, I mean, Diana mentioned very correctly, there are so many issues uh, apart from these issues. Uh, even I feel this kind of, you know, discourses uh, will be very, very uh, fruitful, useful for the, I mean, uh, for the, uh, I mean, to present uh, uh, at this conference uh, that will be very, very useful for all the kind of, you know, people um, to understand uh, about the, you know, different interpretations and uh, even miscon misconceptions and uh, misinterpretations uh, in uh, various parts of the world and uh, even in the same country. So I think uh, Diana mentioned a lot of things and um, uh, the guidelines have been given when I went through the, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, flyer that uh, all the guidelines and other kind of things are there. And as Diana mentioned, of course, uh, when you uh, are not clear, uh, even I can voluntarily say that if you send us some uh, themes or even abstract or something like that, uh, I think uh, both of us can uh, help uh, the presenters or the abstract writers to uh, really uh, uh, put them into the correct position. So to see whether these topics are uh, uh, really uh, directly connected to uh, our conference theme. Okay, I think that is the major thing because uh, Diana mentioned most of the things and uh, the thing that uh, she did not mention that I just wanted to say and thank you very much. And uh, we'll work together and have a successful uh, conference in May. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Kamala. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard from the conference and co-chair, Professor Kamala, Lena Gay. Professor Kamala, we are happy to know that your health is improving. Ladies and gentlemen, so we're moving to the next part of this webinar. It's my pleasure to uh, speak about this, our official partners. So our co uh, hosting partners we have are the association, the Asian African Association for Women, Gender and Sexuality. And we have the, uh, we have the Bridgewater State University, USA, and Tokyo Gakuge University from Japan. And as the academic partner also we have uh, University Brunei, Dar es Salaam Brunei, and also the Galgati Seattle University from India. And the organized partner is the International Institute of Knowledge Management. So these are the official partners of the Women's Studies Conference 2021. So we see what will be happen in this three days conference. It is the excited and 
uh, thing to know. So we have lined up uh, some events, uh, special features, we call it uh, the plenary panel, we have the storytelling session and keynote forum. We speak about the women's rights about in, at the workshop. Also a networking session, it is uh, the opportunity we provide you to network because uh, there are uh, other researchers in other countries um, who have done this uh, research under this topic. So it is, uh, this is the great opportunity for you all to network and uh, know about uh, the more about this subject. And of course, the uh, questions, you can uh, raise up the questions at the networking sessions from our resource persons also. So that is why we have uh, arranged this networking session. Uh, and we have this publication session. So we'll be having this it at the webinar. And next we have, The next we have arranged the uh, publication session. For that, once again, let me uh, welcome our Professor Diana J. Fox to moderate this session. Professor Diana, it's over to you. Thanks. Um, I'm going to share my screen with everybody. Um, let's see, here we go. Okay, here we have the page uh, from the um, World Conference of Women's Studies that identifies the various forms of publication. During the conference, I'll be hosting a publication workshop to talk more in more specificity about the process of converting your conference paper to a publication and submitting to a journal. Um, this is not only for graduate students, but for professionals as well. Um, and so let me just scroll through this and then I'll uh, highlight some key issues. So as is usual with conferences, there will be a book of abstracts that will be published as a record and also as a way for you to get in contact with people later on. Um, there is also the uh, publication of TECUM. And uh, then finally, there are also uh, additional peer reviewed journal publications that you can submit your article, your uh, transformed pa conference paper into an article to, including the Journal of International Women's Studies, which is the journal that I founded, oh, 21 years ago now. Uh, and the Inter-Asia Cultural Studies, their journal links are there. You could peruse um, the journals and there's some are the various submission guidelines. Um, there are three other journals to submit to, uh, a no X Social Sciences Journal, Feminist Legal Studies, and Gender and Society. Uh, and you should seek out the journal whose mission statement and uh, themes correspond best with your own paper topic. Um, very briefly, uh, every year uh, that I've been conference chair, this is going to be my, it's the seventh conference, so it's my sixth year uh, this year, uh, the Journal of International Women's Studies has published a special issue based on the uh, selected conference papers. So typically there are a number of papers that are submitted uh, uh, approximately a month or two after the conference. And then there's a blind peer review process. Uh, and uh, then the special issue is published online. The JIWS is an online open access journal. Um, a few of the others are as well. Um, let me stop sharing. So uh, those are lots of choices. And uh, way back when I was a graduate student, uh, my uh, advisor uh, encouraged me to use all conference presentations as potential publications, um, to think of your conference paper as a future publication and to organize it as such so that when you sit down to write, you can really flesh out what you've organized in your presentation. 
So this, that's just a quick overview for today. It's just a brief um, identification of what the opportunities are for you. Uh, and uh, as noted during the conference itself, I'll go into further detail and I'll share with you some of the uh, publications that have come out of this conference over the years. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, that you heard about this, uh, the journals that you will be having uh, at the conference. So you'll be able to uh, publish your full paper and one of the journal. And you know now uh, what is, will be happen at the conference and uh, the, uh, what are the sessions, but you may have the curious to know who are the people, who are the resource person to be at the conference. Some may have been visited to our website, but let's find out and explore how will be the Women's Studies Conference, the three-day conference, how will it be? That you saw the about uh, uh, overview of this conference, so the, how will be the conference? So we are excited and we are waiting to see your all of you at the conference. And this is how we the webinar. And we uh, would like to I would like to invite Mr. Sankapi Gamage, co-founder and the managing director of the International Institute of Knowledge Management, to speak about the web benefits and also uh, about the benefits that you'll be having uh, while, if you are participated to this uh, uh, conference. So let's welcome Mr. Sankopi Gamage. Mr. Gamage, over to you. Thank you very much, Sachini. And uh, thank you very much, Professor Diana and uh, Professor Kamala for joining us today. Uh, so I think both of you have mentioned uh, all the things about the conference, why it's important and everything. Uh, then uh, I just want to uh, give some more uh, other information about what are the other extra benefits you can gain through this conference and what are the other experiences likewise. So uh, if I mention about today gathering, uh, there are some of participants who joining 
with us uh, for our other uh, for our previous conference conferences as well as some of them already submitted the abstracts and also there are some of other participants uh, who are in today who are supposed to submit their abstracts before uh, this deadline. So I would like to welcome all of you to this uh, gathering by saying uh, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon, uh, because uh, there are participants representing different countries. Uh, then uh, as uh, uh, Professor Diane and Dr. Kamala mentioned, so this is the third, uh, uh, because uh, Professor Diana has joined with us with our second conference. So uh, this is our sixth conference. We are working with her. Um, then uh, when come to the seventh conference uh, next year, actually we were thought to do this year conference uh, the physical way. So that was our plan earlier. We, unfortunately, last year also we had to do virtual way. But uh, due to this situation, uh, we are uh, strictly go, going for a virtual conference. But uh, all of you know when we participate in the conference, we have a lot of uh, things, uh, especially we are concerned about the networking. So, uh, but that's important part. And also there are some of uh, participants still worrying are we getting that networking opportunities when we uh, join with this type of virtual conferences? But if you have joined with our previous conference, the last year conference, obviously you may get the exact experience how we did this conference online, but keeping our networking opportunities. Uh, of course, uh, we believe we, uh, we have to have a meeting physical way to develop our network. But I would say, uh, with this time period, it has changed, but it has more effectivity also because uh, you may be able to get to know more people uh, through the virtual uh, platforms. So that's why uh, we encourage in all of you because uh, all of you know how it's important the networking. Then uh, when we give in that opportunity through this type of platform, this type of conferences, definitely uh, you will get that uh, benefit to develop your network as uh, professor diana mentioned you may be able to find different uh, scholars different uh, same like-minded people from other part of the world so uh, i would like to invite all of you because of that reason as well and also um, when we are talking about our associations and our other features so the engagement is really high uh, especially what i i am experiencing uh, when we having uh, our uh, online conferences, the engagement, when compared to the physical conference and uh, virtual conferences, we have seen the engagement of the conference is really high because what happened, uh, we obviously know when we having the conference in some other country, when we having the uh, tour to another country, we always have in our mind, we have to visit, we have to utilize our time to visit some places. So we sometime uh, when we have the three day conference, the last day uh, only few members will be in the sessions. So, but uh, then I, uh, the presenters, it's not that much good experience because you are expecting good feedback. You're expecting more audience likewise. Uh, but when it come to the online, this type of platforms, that has a little bit changed. So you may able to keep the engagement from the beginning to the end. So that's what we experienced from our last conference as well. So uh, then that will be really help to you develop yourself. Uh, and other thing is uh, in our conference, uh, most of uh, when considered about last six years, uh, we have a variety of participants, of course, uh, different country variations as well as uh, young scholars are there, senior scholars are there. So we always encouraging young scholars to participate to uh, this conference. Then you may able, if you are a young scholar, so this is the right platform to join with the conference, then you may able to uh, get to know about uh, more other, other research, uh, what's happening in other countries, as well as to find some good senior scholars and also they will give good feedback, constructive feedback to develop 
your uh, maybe research paper or to your career. So that's really important. So uh, this, will, this will be a good opportunity. So uh, in that case, I'm not telling the senior scholars, uh, you will not get a benefit. Definitely you will get the more benefits because uh, as Professor Diana mentioned, then you, you may be able to find out a lot of other people because we have that experience from our previous conferences uh, after they uh, did network with other participants from other countries. For the next year, they, are, they have presented new research, joint research uh, representing both countries. So that type of opportunities are there. Then um, some discussions will be uh, going, going on. We are planning more features there. And other important thing, especially for uh, people who joined us today, if if you are uh, still, uh, if you are waiting for the uh, abstract uh, acceptance letter, or if you got the acceptance letter and waiting for uh, getting registrations, so you will get the benefit. Especially our uh, team has allow, uh, arranged a special uh, registration fee that means a ten percent discount for, from the. Uh, regular registration fee so you will get that benefit as well so if you are planning to make registrations before the deadline before that mean uh, 18th is our deadline so definitely uh, please communicate with Viraj then uh, you will able to get that benefit as well then uh, if you have not submit your abstracts yet so we have extended our abstract deadline due to more in inquiries. So deadline, the abstract submission, the final deadline will be 30th of uh, March. So uh, end of this ma month. So please submit your abstracts because uh, we have limited uh, time slots. So uh, after that, within two weeks, we will send the acceptance letters to all of you who, uh, who plan to submit your abstracts. Then, uh, you may able to make some arrangement for the registrations after that as well. So that's for the people who are planning to submit your abstract. And also if you think your colleague or your student or uh, some of your friends should get this uh, opportunity, please communicate with them. Please uh, send this information to them and ask from them to submit their abstracts before end of this month. Then. Uh, they also will get the benefit um, to participate to this conference. So after the conference, who are planning to uh, join with the conference, they will get extra benefit, uh, another benefit, get the free registration for the uh, our association. So uh, through that, you will get more benefits, uh, especially develop your network and uh, for more resources uh, and uh, working with our other events, which you are planning to do in uh, within this year as well. So you will get the one year free membership as well if you join in with the, uh, this conference. So those are the key points which I want to mention. And if you need any help, please contact us, especially at the secretariat part handled by Viraj. So uh, still you are, uh, most of you already uh, communicate with him so uh, please communicate with him if you need any support especially for our partnering organizations or uh, our reviewers so you will get the special uh, benefits uh, when you participate of the conference so uh, if you are a, if you are representing our partner universities please let us know so then you will be able to get special rates uh, which we have agreed with those uh, our partnering organizations or if you are a reviewer, please uh, communicate with uh, them, uh, with especially with our team, to get all the benefits. So I hope this will be a really good conference and develop uh, to develop your network, to get more knowledge, to gain more knowledge, and share your knowledge and experiences with others. So I always believe um, everyone has different type of knowledge, but you can do something to make it practice as well as if you can share your knowledge with others. So that's the important thing you are doing. So this will be a good opportunity for you 
to gain more knowledge and share more knowledge with uh, all participants around the world. So uh, with that note, I would like to uh, finish my information thing. Then if you have any question or anything, please uh, communicate with us. Now you can ask from us. So our team will uh, allow you to uh, talk. Uh, they will uh, put it to the normal uh, the panelist view. Then uh, you can uh, just uh, raise your hand or Sachin will guide you for that. So if you have any questions, please uh, let us know. Then uh, you can clarify everything and we also can uh, be able to help you to solve your issues. So thank you very much. I hope uh, to meet all of you in virtu virtually during the conference three days. Then uh, have a great day and be safe. Keep your mind is strong. Keep your uh, health is strong. Your uh, physical health is strong as well. Thank you very much. I go on. Thank you, Mr. Gamage. Likewise, uh, we have arranged a special offer for the participant who are in here, the who uh, are not uh, like the people who are not yet uh, submitted the abstract or didn't make the payment. So let's find out the uh, offer that we are offering you once again. That is, we'll provide you uh, the 10% off for the, all these participants who are in this webinar. Uh, we, you can contact Mr. Viraj in regards of that. In terms of that, Mr. Viraj will contact you. That is the, uh, this is the offer that we're giving from your registration fee. We are offering you the 10% off. So we invite everyone to submit your abstract before the deadline. Let me remind you once again, that is the 30th March, uh, end of this month. And also the payment deadline will come up on 18th March. So we invite everyone to, we hope to see everyone in here to add the conference. So this is time to uh, provide you the opportunity for you to uh, clarify your questions. And before that, give us a few times uh, till our community member uh, in converting your, uh, you as a panelist. Yeah, Sajini, so um, I think uh, we got a call uh, from Johi Bewaja. So uh, asking um, any possibility to do a face-to-face -face conference. So, uh, so unfortunately this year we may not able to do a physical conference. So uh, due to this uh, situation, uh, so it will be a fully online conference. So, but we hope for the next year, if the situation is getting better, uh, we may able to do the next year 2022 conference in a probably in hybrid way or the fully physical way. So, uh, but this year, uh, no chance to do a physical conference. Yes, we have received lots of questions. Uh, we give the opportunity for you all to raise your questions. So you're going to have a few times. And uh, as Mr. Sankar uh, said, uh, we are planning to, and we would love to have this uh, the conference as physical in next year. Uh, but uh, this year we are be having virtual, but we promise that this, even though this is the virtual conference, it's going to be uh, experience the memorable conference that you have because the association AAA WGS already have proven uh, they're conducting the conference in, and giving you the, extra, uh, giving you the maximum and good experience for you. Somebody asks, uh, Sumer asks a question. Um, I'm just going to read some of the questions here. Um, oh, first there's Z Zira or Zyra. I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Um, that I cannot answer that question about your co-authors names in one certificate. I think the um, Mahisha uh, may be able to answer that and Asanka. Yeah, Professor Diana, I also just reading it. 
so um, in there actually what we can do uh, when you if you can make an inquiry uh, that means if you can send a, a specific mail by requesting uh, this definitely we may able to uh, mention your course and name as well normally when we are sending a certificate when we are preparing certificate normally we are uh, mentioning the presenter only the presenter uh, name but if you need co-author's name also uh, into the certificate please make a request then uh, we may able to arrange it i think uh the answer so let's go for the next one um the next question has to do with publication um will you have to uh, will your paper go through the conference process or will it have to apply apply for publication independently? Yes, um, the the presentation of your paper at the conference is separate from the submission uh, for publication. You'll have to convert your conference presentation to an article. Um, I, I don't know about other journals. I know in terms of my journal, the Journal of International Women's Studies, there are a number of different submission possibilities um, and you can go on to you should go onto the submissions pages of all of the journals to find out what they require um, for submissions uh, and that happens obviously after the conference is over um, let's see i think that answers that uh professor uh, diana to add in uh, some uh, some other information uh, about that publication uh, process so what we are requesting from all people first uh, submit your paper to our uh, publication division after the conference we they will be communicating with you uh, because we encouraging you to submit your paper to our team before you submit into the journal because the thing is uh, from our side we will do the quick reviewing with our committee to make sure your paper is uh, has followed the guidelines has uh, is up to some standard level so with our committee we will give a feedback to you then uh, you may able to uh, do the pre corrections based on those uh, comments you are getting after that, you you can submit the paper to the relevant journal. So that's what we are giving the extra support to you because with our experience, sometime uh, if you submit to the some of other journals, uh, if it is not matched with the basic requirement, sometimes they will straight away the reject uh, send a rejection letter. So uh, to avoid that, as a committee, uh, we are trying to give extra support to you to make publish your paper on those journals. So uh, first you can submit your paper to our team. Then uh, we will inform to you. After that, you can submit direct to the journal and inform to us. So uh, that's the process, especially for other journals as well. There was another, uh, another Sorry, there was another question about a format for presentation. Uh, and I briefly mentioned that you'll be creating, you don't have to create a PowerPoint, I don't believe. Do you have to create a PowerPoint? Um, but if you do create a PowerPoint, you do not want it to be, you don't want to read from your PowerPoint. Um, yeah. You want to be, a, yeah, you want to create a, a presentation where, where the PowerPoint helps your listeners your audience to understand your topic um, but you should know your topic well enough so that you're not just reading a whole paper through a powerpoint um to, the to add in that uh, yeah. we will send the small uh, format that mean uh, with the uh, with the conference information, everything, we will send a, just a drafted uh, PowerPoint template to you. Then you can use that template. Uh, but as Professor Diana mentioned, so you have to create your own uh, presentation based on the normal uh, the ethics and those guidelines. But the 
initial template we will send it to you with the conference name and those those and color colors those stuff then the main thing is when we upload it to the website then that will be really nice that's why we uh, send in the template to you but after that uh, you can develop your uh, presentations There are some questions in the chat that probably the uh, the web team needs to answer about submitting paper and PowerPoint separately. Um, when should a pre-recorded video be sent in? Could somebody respond to those on the TCOM team, please? Yeah, I just trying to uh, find a couple of. Uh, can I answer this question? Yeah, please. Uh, because I have gone through similar uh, questions. What all you need to present? Uh, the team helps you information if we have a powerpoint presentation they send you a deadline to submit your ppt nothing to worry about we get each and every information beforehand from the team we have a deadline to submit our ppts then a paper for publication, we get free information through mail, the deadline, the specifications, the guidelines to submit, the journals list. They ask you for your choice. What is uh, your first publication, then second, third? All, everything is very well planned the guidelines so even for a beginner there is nothing to worry about and we learn stepwise that is the and thanks to professor diana who has introduced me and she asked me to send an abstract and this conference has been a great platform for learning as well as for publication. I've got so many opportunities through this conference. So I would like uh, to join uh, to join to become a part of this uh, conference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tumusha. Uh, and uh, if I uh, give answer to uh, one uh, one question which from the chat box, uh, Fatima Sharna has asked uh, is in the final uh, waiting for the final result. So of course, uh, Fatima, you can register under the student category. So uh, just uh, select the student category when you uh, register, uh, fill in the registration form. Uh, And also, uh, yeah, Rish Noblight has uh, mentioned, hello dear, when I says I have operation for pre-recorded, option for the pre-recorded video presentations. Yeah, uh, you can send your pre-recorded video to the uh, committee, but during the Q&A, when, when we are playing that, during your particular sessions, you have to be online because uh, to answer for the questions, uh, those things, so you have to be online, but uh, sometimes if you are facing some technical issue or if you are facing some networking network issue, so to avoid that, you can send uh, your pre-recorded video to the committee. But in when you're sending, you must follow the guidelines 
especially the timing so I'm, because we will allocate a, uh, we will allocate uh, 15 minutes for the presentation so you have to finish your video within 15 minutes uh, otherwise we will not accept it or uh, we have to finish the stop the video after 15 minutes so uh, so that's the process There's one more question about when people will be notified about the time and day of their presentation and whether they can select that time and day. Oh yeah. So um, in there, we are, we are planning to send uh, at least um, just a minimum week, at least one week before the conference, but we are trying uh, if you're able to finalize all the registration and everything uh, a little bit before, at least two weeks, the maximum within two weeks, the minimum within one week, we may able to let you know about the timing. Uh, when we create in the program, of course, uh, we are considering about your time zone. So, for example, uh, when we, uh, especially when we create in the conference, uh, we, we will send you the program based on the Indian standard time. In there, the morning hours, of course, we are planning to give it to the Asian continents because then sometime uh, with the time differences, uh, maybe you are in, in your afternoon or your morning time, you may be able to join with the conference. Uh, when we have in the presentation from Europe region or especially from USA, then that also probably it will be on your, uh, morning times or uh, not the late evening of, the, of course uh, with our last experience. So we will try to match your time zone as well when we prepare in the present, uh, presentation time slots. So if you have any concern, you can uh, inform to us because um, what we are planning to do to fill, to uh, sort all of your time zones and based on that, the tracks, and also the time zone, it's quite difficult task to uh, give it, allo make the allocation. Sometime uh, you may have to do some uh, support for us as well. But uh, with our previous experience, uh, no one get the time during uh, early mornings, likewise, but we managed to do, do that. Uh, we did a sacrifice sometime, we last year also, we did quite uh, the conference, we held a little bit late time from Indian, time zone but that's good for the uh, USA uh, participants from them maybe in the morning time so that's how it's happened so don't worry about that so uh, uh, you can contact uh, if you want to get any inquiry or any information or anything just uh, send it to the uh, secretariat email uh, which you are which you have submitted to your abstract so same email we we will have the we are using for the communication and also uh, you can communicate through whatsapp with our team uh, viraj will uh, send those information to you conference dates are already uh, yes conference dates are already fixed it's on uh, yeah, is is it will be three days but uh, we, we have not fixed the program that means which date your presentation will be it will uh, let we will let you know that with before minimum before the one week for the conference but conference dates are fixed that's 20th 21st and 22nd of May. So those are the three uh, three days for the conference. Uh, yeah. But I think we have answered to all the questions.
Yeah, I think that's that's it. And I just yep. posted the conference website where there's lots of information and. We hope that uh, all of the questions we clarified. And if you have any questions, you can unmute yourself. Always you can drop your chat box, drop question at the chat box. So we give another one minute of time for you all to come to the questions. Yeah, uh, Sanjini, I got a really good uh, question, the inquiry from Ikra. Yeah, Ikra, so uh, thank you very much for raising this. Uh, really uh, helpful to spread out the conference information. What we can do, uh, our team will send the e-flyer again uh, to you. So uh, then you can use that e-flyer to uh, spread out with your uh, network. So uh, what we can do, uh, we will send the e-flyer to all of you with mentioning the new uh, abstract deadline. So uh, if you can spread out it amongst your network, so that will be really help to develop this conference to get more abstracts then we can create more opportunities for them as well so uh, if you need any particular version or any particular way to uh, the e-flyer please uh, inform to us especially to sachini or to mahisha or viraj then we may able to send all the information to you thank you very much Ikra, so raising that yeah, already, so, uh, to get the 10% uh, discount for especially for the participants who join with us uh, today from the regular registration fee, our uh, our team will um, will send a specific code to uh, your email, then a specific uh, coupon uh, code. Uh, then you, when you submit in your registration form, you can mention that under uh, under any other uh there's a small box for making remarks uh likewise so our people our team will send a email to you with the guidelines how you can claim your 10 percent when you making the registration uh, but you have to make it before uh, the the deadline then you will uh, entitled to get that 10 percent discount so uh, probably viraj will send tonight or tomorrow those information to you We hope that uh, you already, all of you have clarified your questions. If you need to clarify more information, get more information, please contact uh, us and or visit our website. Uh, you can find the uh, link from the chat box. Visit our website and you can find where to go to the contact tab and you can find the email addresses and phone numbers so you can contact uh, the relevant people regarding your question. With that, uh, we're concluding the uh, pre-conference webinar. I would like to thank uh, all the uh, people who are here at the webinar. Thank you so much. And especially would like to thank uh, our conference chairs, uh, Professor Diana uh, J. Fox. Thank you so much for being at the webinar. And also Professor Kamala Liana Gaird, our conference co-chair. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Kamala, for being here. And also would like to thank uh, Mr. Sankapi Gamange for uh, being here and uh, providing all the answers and uh, clarifying all the questions. So with that, we are concluding the uh, conference pre-conference webinar. We the, we hope to see you all at the Women's Studies uh, Conference, which will be held on 20th to 22nd May 2021. This is the three days conference. Uh, you, you have seen uh, the special features we have lined up for y'all. And uh, we have a special feature, we have a journal. So this is a great platform for you to speak about uh, this is theme, under this theme, and you may have done a research or so, but you have to be finding the best place to present your research. So this is the best place. We have uh, showed you and all this, so you have you got me uh, image about this conference, how it will be. 
that is the women's studies conference we hope to see you all at the women's studies conference 2021 with that we are concluding the pre-conference webinar and we wish you all the very best thank you good night from Sheila.